In this tutorial, we are going to see how to get the soil moisture data inside of QGIS and then export those data sets in, in order to use it in other GIS software. Welcome to GeoCarto, a channel dedicated to GIS, cartography and geoscience. So subscribe if you want to get more tutorials. After opening QGIS, we are going to download a plugin in order to get a map background. This map background will use it only to locate our area of interest. So head over to plugins and then click on manage and install plugins. We are going to look for a plugin called quick map services. It's this one. Click on it and then click on install plugin. For me, it's already installed. Click on close. In order to get the map background, head over to web, go to quick map services and then go to OSM, which stands for open street map and then click on OSM standard and then zoom into the area where you want to get your soil moisture data so for me i will focus on this area so now we will go ahead and download the plugin that we are going to use in order to get our soil moisture data in order to do this head over again to plugins and then click on manage and install plugins here we will go ahead and look for jaxa earth api plugin it's this one click on it and then click on install plugin for me it's already installed at the end of the download click on close and you will get an interface which looks just like this one so from here we can select our data set for us we are interested to you can see that there are a bunch of data sets for this tutorial we are interested in soil moisture so you have the, the data for daytime and nighttime and you have daily, half monthly and monthly data. So let's go ahead and click on soil moisture data for the daily data set and during daytime. Click on it. And for the sake of this tutorial, I will go ahead and download the data for just one day, generally the first of the year 2021. So I will just click on load. So this plugin is downloading only the data that are covered in this canvas which corresponds to the our screen extent so uh, here we go as you can see i got my soil moisture data for this time period here you can see the color ramp which indicates the, the soil moisture values so now we will go ahead and download this data in order to work with it in other gis software so in order to do this head over to your downloaded data set right click on it and go to export then click on save as we'll go ahead and download this data as a geochief image here you can change where we want to save your geochief name it and then click on save and i will let everything to default i will just click on ok there we go i think that our data is successfully exported now i will open arcgis in order to see if i can import the soil moisture data into it i'll click on add data navigate to where you saved your geochief image and then click on it then click on add and there we go as you can see i uploaded my moisture data successfully so you can here change the color ramp and that's it so i hope that you got some value from this tutorial if so please like it and subscribe if you want to get more tutorials